Hello and welcome to external 3D formats chapter of this essential course. So we have four major uh, formats that Notch supports. So let's start with OBJ. As stated in a slide, it's quite simple file format. It is supported by all major 3D softwares and carries uh, 3D mesh data and UV maps data. So it's rather simple. I don't think we need to spend too much time talking about OBJs. So let's move on to something a little bit more exciting, the .c4d format. So uh, .c4d is native format to Cinema 4D, and it carries quite a bit more. So it does carry the 3D mesh data and UV maps. Uh, it contains simple animation data, so basically anything you would animate in Cinema 4D would be respected in Notch. Uh, it takes into consideration material color, camera position, light position values, and splines. So Let's check it out in practical terms. Uh, we have a sample layer for that. So that's the first one here, one animated C4D. So this is actually imported from Cinema 4D. And this file contains imported camera, imported lights, and a couple of 3D objects and animations. So let's check this out in Cinema 4D UI. Right, so this is exactly what we have. Uh, we have the lights, the camera, camera is set here in Cinema 4D, and we have a bit of animation. So that bit of animation is just a couple of keyframes. So when I say that it supports simple animations, I mean that any animations that you would put down on a timeline probably would carry through. Uh, complex animations would be something like MoGraph. So anything created with the MoGraph system, uh, with cloners or Fracture Voronoi, would not carry in a notch as a C4D file because that is a native thing to Cinema 4D. That's their proprietary system for handling iterations of files and dismantling uh, meshes. So for you to be able to use those, you would have to choose another type of format, maybe FBX or Alembic, and we're gonna cover those as we progress. Uh, actually, the same thing applies for their proprietary shapes. If you have something like this figure and you want to see this in a notch, make sure to make it editable or in other words, create a 3D mesh out of it. Right, so with all that said, since we have the camera and lights and a little bit of animation with these 3D models, we can actually save it up and open it in Notch. And that's exactly what's going on here. In fact, I'm gonna delete this setup and I'm just gonna bring it in anew so we can rig this up together. So when we bring in an imported 3D scene, in this case, uh, the train.c4d, uh, it comes in as an imported 3D scene node. So it's a, a node that contains several nodes inside of it. So this little triangle right here indicates that there's more information to it. So in this case, there's a camera, there's a couple of 3D objects, and there's a couple of lights. So how do we take advantage of all those nodes here in Notch? Well, first of all, we can grab a local camera and connect it to the camera that we just imported and all of a sudden it jumps to the location that was designated in cinema. So if I hit zero, now I'm looking through that camera. Obviously we're lacking lighting. So for us to take advantage of lighting, that's the very same procedure. We just grab the local light and we connect it to the light that was designated and set up in cinema 4D. So I can actually make sure that these lights are casting shadow. So the setup looks a little bit nicer. And there we are, that's as simple as it is when it comes to importing Cinema 4D scenes and rendering it in Notch. Now, obviously we could push this further, add more lighting, perhaps even translate this to a path trace scene, but I'll leave that for the later courses. Okay, so the third item in our list is FBX. Uh, FBX is quite fun and a nice format. I usually tend to use that the most. So it can be exported from the majority of 3D packages, uh, carries 3D mesh and UV maps data, contains material and texture map data. So this is a new thing compared to Cinema 4D. So all of a sudden we have material data that can be carried as well, which is great. Uh, it does support baked in animations and skeletal animations. So if you build something complex in Cinema 4D and uh, Cinema 4D file itself doesn't carry it here in Notch, just export it as FBX. FBX will bake in uh, animations and you are pretty much good to go. Let's check out uh, FBX in the practical terms. We do have a sample for it here. So it does comes in in the very same way with a little triangle here in the bottom as imported 3D scene. But in this case, we have a 3D model or a mesh that actually has a whole skeletal bone structure. 
This comes very handy in Notch because all of a sudden we can attach uh, various 3D objects and uh, tools from Notch to this skeletal uh, structure. Or we can use it for uh, Kinect setups or mocap setups. And we're going to cover those in the uh, upcoming various courses and tutorials. So with that said, I want to mention exactly where I've gotten this model from. I think it's going to come handy to you guys as well. There is this uh, website called Mixamo. It's owned by Adobe. So if you have Adobe subscription, you have, you have access to this uh, service here as well. So here you have a vast uh, number of characters to choose from and animations to pair it with. You can choose to upload your own OBJ or FBX model in a static deposition and ring it up. It's going to take a minute or two and you're good to go. So I find myself using this website quite a lot. So that's exactly where I've gotten this asset from. So let me showcase you a little gotcha that is very handy to know when you're using FBX models from Mixamo. I'm just going to make a new layer and I'm going to bring in an asset that we all have in our asset list. So in this case, I'm going to go for 3D meshes, Samba dancing. Okay, uh, first thing, there is no unified scaling property uh, coming in from all the various 3D uh, software. So everybody interprets one in their own way. So in this case, if a model is downloaded from Mixamo, I know for a fact that the one is a little bit too big for notch. So let me show you that. If I hit OK now, I'll give it a moment. There's my Samba dancing guy. As you see, in accordance to the grid, it came quite too big, excessively too big. So to fix this issue, uh, I already know because I tested it a couple of times, I should set it to 0 0.01 scale and all of a sudden is actually more appropriate, more realistic sized. So we do have imported 3D scene, it's looking fine, but it's in static deposition, position, even though I have chosen uh, some motion for it. Uh, that is because Notch supports animation sets. In this case, if I choose Mixamo, all of a sudden it's running, it's working. So just be aware of that. Now, if you want to slow down your uh, playback, you have to increase the playback speed. Now, I know initially it sounds counterintuitive, but basically you're adding more space for the playback. So you're expanding the timeline. The longer the timeline, the slower the playback. That's probably the best way of thinking about it. I'm going to set it back to one. Now there's another little gotcha that I'd like to mention here is the wrong interpretation of textures. Sometimes when you bring in a model, it might come in looking like this. There's nothing wrong, nothing is broken. It's just the textures are flipped upside down. Uh, and that again happens because some 3D software exports uh, their textures from a different angle. So it's flipped on the X or Y axis. If that was to happen, make sure to flip or unflip the UVs and you're pretty much good to go. I think 95% of the times that will fix the issue. Right, so let's move on to the last item of the list, uh, ABC or Alembic. So this format carries a 3D mesh data and UV maps just like any other, uh, but it contains animation data as well and point cloud animations. So basically this is the king to rule them all. So if you need to bring in some very complex animation or very complex simulation, maybe from uh, another system that creates, let's say, very accurate uh, physical particle simulations, I would probably export it in ABC because that format definitely supports the most accurate the best baking out there. Uh, and we do have a little sample here, it's called a three animation ABC. So this is a point cloud animation of particles uh, or soft particles and is brought and rendered here in Notch. Okay, so if you found yourself making coffee throughout the time that I was talking about different formats and you would like to catch up, uh, I'll, I'll just do a quick uh, rundown. So OBJ, most simple one, carries the 3D, uh, 3D mesh and UV map data. Cinema 4D, if you're a cinema user, that's a very good way to go to bring in the cameras and lights and uh, simple animations. If you go for something like MoGraph, then definitely choose FBX. And if you're 3ds Max or Maya user, that's probably one of the main ones you would go for anyways. It contains not only animation uh, bakes, but it definitely contains the skeletal animations too, which is very, 
very handy. And ABC, that's the best one for point cloud animations and heavy bakes. So this kind of rounds up the 3D external formats. I hope you found this useful and let's catch up in the upcoming chapter, let's animate things with modifiers.